Homegrown Biker. Homegrown Biker is brought to you by the Brothers of Power. Everything you need to take your event to the extreme. Hey, this is Doug from Homegrown Biker. Glad you all can come to the uh, second episode. You know, there's one thing about this winter I'm not gonna miss. Uh, let me think about what that is. No, I'm not gonna miss anything about it. We've had days and days of snow, locked in our houses, you know what? As you can tell by the day, I'm out here today. Finally, my lane's plowed out where we can get up and down it pretty easy. Snow's melted away, good sign of spring. Now one thing I hope to do with this spring is get plenty of footage for Homegrown Biker. Had a lot of questions about what Homegrown Biker is, and I gotta be honest, a bunch of rookies with some really cool equipment, and we're gonna go out and try to be real, try to keep it in the, focused within the general area of, uh, from where we're located. Homegrown Biker Studios is out by Edna Mills, Indiana. Grew up in Mulberry, uh, so I got a lot of connections in the area. And uh, I'll tell you, we got a new co-host, Mara. She's gonna be, uh, going around doing some interviews as well as me. Any ideas that you may have about putting on the show, please contact Doug at homegrownbiker.com. We got a lot of stuff coming up with Bryn with Kids Corner. If you got anything with your children, go ahead and contact Bryn at homegrownbiker.com. And if you'd like to have Mara at one of your shows, contact Mara at homegrownbiker.com. Well, you know what? It's time to get into the studio and start getting busy. So welcome to Homegrown Biker. This episode of Homegrown Biker will be at the Indiana Motorcycle Expo. Mara will be hanging out with Team Extreme Trials rider Tommy Avala. While at the expo, we was able to get an interview with Rolling Thunder, finding out how they're raising money for all of our veterans, find out what Streetworks is all about, and the fashion show and Tiny Tots Test Track, brought to you by Brand from Kids Corner. All this right here and more on Homegrown Biker. Hi, Mara. I'm here with Homegrown Biker, and this is Tommy. So Tommy, tell me, how long have you been riding for? Well, I've been riding for 33 years and I've been doing shows for 10 years here in the U.S. I'm originally from Helsinki, Finland and came over here about 10 years ago and started doing these shows. Now I heard you're pretty popular over there. You even have your own stamp. Yeah, you know, it's been working out good, mm -hmm. uh, really good for us. Uh, motorsport in general is really popular and well known in Finland and of course there's only 5 million people there so if somebody wants to do something good, uh, we get pretty good exposure. So. It's, it's pretty nice because uh, if you do this and nobody would really care, yeah. you're kind of demoralizing. <laughs> so when people appreciate it, you know, I guess it makes you feel a little bit better too. But, you know, it's, it makes it more fun. Well, I watched your show, Tommy, and it was very impressive. Oh, thank you. You do some amazing stunts. And I don't know if you can see here the close quarters that we're in, but you did a wonderful job. Well, and you still saved your noggin up there. That's right. I was pretty close a couple of times. <laughs> like, uh, normally we require about... Uh, when it's six feet, 30 feet of ceiling height, then we are about 15 feet short here. So <laughs> definitely it was a good thing that I had my helmet on because <laughs> I needed, needed it a couple of times. Understandable. So how long have you been riding for? Um, I've been riding since I was six years old. Oh. So pretty much, uh, all my life. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, you do a great job. Well, thank if you. If you guys ever have the chance to check out Tommy, you definitely should. He's a wonderful rider. Yeah, pretty good shape. So let me introduce you to your rider coming all the way from Helsinki, Finland. He's a two-time world champion. Let's give it up for Mr. Tommy Avila. Right. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys coming out here today and checking us out. I hope you're going to have a lot of fun here with us for the next 15 minutes. And we started out there pretty fast. And let me slow it down just for a second and tell a few things about the show. Because in the sport of the observed trials, what the show is based on, it's all about balance and bike control. We try to ride over crazy obstacles and try to keep our feet on the pegs at the same time. Because every time my foot goes on the ground, we get penalized for that. 
And that's why these bikes have to balance really good. And also have a good turning radius. Because they might only give us very few feet to turn this bike around before hitting up the next obstacle. Could be rocks, hill climbs, waterfalls, or some man-made stuff. Like here today. And sometimes even normal turning radius isn't enough. That's when I have to utilize my bicycle skills. If we need to, I can move my front wheel from side to side like that. Or my rear wheel from side to side. I can place this bike as good as possible for the next obstacle. Well, this bike has a six-speed transmission, but reverse gear, it's more like optional feeds for my bike as well. Well, it seems to be working pretty good. It's pretty slick here today, but we'll make it work. I know you didn't come to hear me talk, so what do you guys think? Should we start riding for real? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, it's time to unleash Tommy Avila. A little background on this guy. He's been doing it all over the world, mastering the art of trials. He's a living legend in the sport. He's got national titles all over the place. Finland, Scandinavian title, Italian national championship, United States national championship, but most importantly, he hit the two biggest titles you can grab in this sport, and that's two world titles. In fact, Tommy's the only guy I know that actually has his own postage stamp over in Europe. Pretty cool stuff, but he tears it up, he goes big. Starting out with a little experimental shot here with the splatter technique. There you go. Now that rear tire looks almost flat. There's about three, four pounds of pressure in there. That helps that tire kind of grip and get traction where there's virtually none. Now in competition, they don't make it too easy on you. They put you in really tight, confined areas to maneuver around. So you gotta be able to turn this machine on a dime, and that's how you master the machine. There you go. Let me go on the back side here, or the top. That's why I wear my helmet all the time. Put slow clearance here. Look, try to make it work. I wanted to ride these two steps down here, and there's no room to put my foot on the ground, so hopefully I can hold my balance. So let me line this bike up here, go down real slow, like that. Let it slide down. There. Then the next one. I'm all the way down. So why don't you lay down there? Gotta show how it's done. All right, man. The almighty bunny hop. I just love this part of the show when you throw this in. All right, human being on the ground now. We're out of room to work with. Is this good enough for you? Yeah, actually, I don't know. I'm not the one way down there. Here? Yeah. You have a pretty good break dancer there, too. <laughs> but that's what it's all about. Having a good time here. And he's doing a really good job here at announcing. And he, since you can all see him, I want to make sure he looks as good as possible. And that's why I want to give him a haircut here. Just to make sure everything is perfect. But I didn't go to school how to do those haircuts, so I have my own way to do it. And to make it even better. That's why I don't like it. Messing with me. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, actually in a bunny hop, you know, what I want to do is get in on speed here. Try to make it all the way over a pretty short run here. Now, don't encourage him, folks. He just knows me really well, and he thinks he can pass over me. Uh, just come on back. Uh, yeah, back yeah, there. You can actually go ahead and close your eyes, because what I wanted to do here, I'm not sure if he's moving anymore, but I hope he's not. Because what I wanted to show you guys, I want to get enough speed here, and then right around here somewhere, I wanted to lift my front tire over, like that, and then my rear tire over, kind of like that. Tommy, over the stop, top without stopping, a little more clarification. No stopping at all? Yeah. But if you don't move, I won't stop this time. Actually, I can get a little more speed from it. From here, use my third gear. Get all the way over. Oops. That's kind of an inside between us. Hey, Tommy, this is the part of the show where you're going to lay down. I would really like to ride that bike. Yeah, I have a feeling you really want to do that now, but you don't have a helmet or anything. With this low clearance, you don't need that, so I was so close. Give me another chance, please. 
I'm gonna give you a little more room, a little more room. Do this right, okay? <laughs> yeah, you know, I gotta tell him. We really need a union at this job right here, that's yeah. all I'm saying. Well, I guess that was your unlucky one. I did it like two out of three times. But since you're a little bit nervous, I have to tell you, I got you some fantastic news here today. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance. <laughs> now, actually, there's something else I wanted to tell you. Now, I got this new bike here a little while ago, so it's working really good. But you never know, something always could go wrong. Like, you know, in case if I miss my gear, or this terror goes flat, I might come kind of crash into you. But if that happens, I don't want to worry a thing, and here's why. You see, I got all my safety gear me. I'll be fine, all right? <laughs> he's, he's like, yeah, like that was supposed to be funny. Well, you know, before we go for this, I want to make you one last check. And in case I need to stop, I can. So I want to make sure my front brakes are still working good. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not only one sweating here anymore, let me tell you that. But I'm ready. He seems to be ready. Let's give him a little encouragement here. Let's make this happen. And you know, that was pretty easy. So since he's down there, just don't tell him anything. Let's do it a little bit differently here. Alright, let's give that a little big round of applause for helping me out here. Thanks for all the extras, man. I really appreciate it when I'm here with the speed bump there, but I got to go screwing around. You guys get out of here and see some money. Hi, I'm Mara with Homegrown Biker, and we're here with Dick today. Hi. Hi, Dick. Thank you for giving us a little bit of your time. Thank so you. would you like to go ahead and explain your organization to me? Rolling Thunder is a national organization that advocates for POWs and MIAs. Okay. It's, uh, we're in Indianapolis Chapter 1. All right. I'm the chairman of the board here in Indianapolis. We raffling off uh, this little chopper for uh, funds to give to the VA. And all the money that we raise every year goes to different veterans groups. That's wonderful. So, uh, we give to the VA hospital. We give to uh, the Veterans Association, all different kinds. Wow, and how long has your organization been going for? We've, uh, Rolling Thunder National has been going for 24, this is the 24th year. And uh, we also have a license plate, an Indiana license plate, that it took us seven years to get that through the legislature. And all the proceeds off of this go to the Indiana Veterans uh, Trust Fund. Well, that's wonderful. So we get over $25,000 last year for this particular Wow. Play. So it, it's a pretty cool deal. Yeah, it is. And congratulations to you for supporting the veterans. It's wonderful. Well, we, you know, without the veterans, where are you going to be? It's a true story. Well, you're doing a great thing. And I love this little chopper you've got over here. Yeah. I actually put my name in to win it, so hopefully I do. <laughs> All right, Somebody's Dick. Somebody's going to win it. <laughs> well, thank Enjoy. you so much for your time. Thank you. It was much. wonderful Appreciate speaking it. with you. I hope you win it. <laughs>